one of the good models in audio modality which came in the last few months is Moshi, which we already have covered a lot on the channel as you can see here. That is why when I stumbled upon this new fine-tuned version of Moshi, which is called as Mushi, I was immediately hooked and in this video we are going to install this fine-tuned version of Moshi, which is called as Mushi on our local system and then we will see how it works. So this Mushi is a fine-tuned speech text foundational model and full duplex spoken dialogue framework that has been based on the original Moshi model. There are a few things which it is trying to solve with the Moshi model which in itself is quite a good model but still. So what this person is doing, he has fine-tuned this version of Moshi using a modified version of something called as RST Net. It still has some of the issues with intelligence but it seems better uh, after the fine tuning which we will also check out shortly. You can even fine tune further Moshi models by using this repo if you are brave enough. So let's try to get it installed and we will see how it works and by the way if you are interested in the architecture and more details about Moshi as I said you can see that I already have covered it in great detail and also the Hibiki model which was also quite good. Okay so let me take you to my terminal where I am running this Ubuntu system and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM courtesy mast compute if you're also looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices you can find the link to their website in video's description plus a discount coupon of 50 percent for a range of gpus so let me first create a virtual environment with conda and i'm going to go with python 3.12 here and my conda environment is ready next up you can install moshi with simple pip install command so let's wait for it to get installed. Okay, and now let's log into the Hugging Face and you would need to grab your read token from Hugging Face which is a free token that you can grab from your profile. And we need it because we need to download the model. So you can see that I have just pasted my token and I am logged into the Hugging Face. Okay, so Moshi is installed, our token is set. And next we need to run this command in order to start the Moshi server locally. And I'm specifying this Moshi model which has been created with david brown so and we are just launching our gradio ui so let me run this and the first time when you run it it is going to download the model and the model size is just close over 15 gig and by the way make sure to remove those scare brackets from the command at the top anyway let's wait for this to get downloaded and meanwhile that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And the model is loaded and running on our local host at port 8998. Let me access that here. And there you go, you can see that it is running at the moment and then we can simply connect to it. Now hopefully it will connect because I'm using my VM but anyway let's click on connect here. I will say remember this and allow. 
Hello, Moshi. Hey. Some really great performances, particularly from the lead actors, coming in. I can't hear you. Your voice is very low. Can you please speak a little louder? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. So, what do you think of it? Let me adjust my speakers. Just give me a second. Can you do any now? Oh, I see. Well, I'm not really a professional, but I've done some research on that. According to my research, the general consensus is that the U.S. government should not subsidize the ISS. It's not cost-effective, and it's not a priority for the country. Well, I'm not sure what you are saying. I think you're hallucinating. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to ask, what is no, happiness? No, I'm not. I'm just telling you what I've... Well, that's a different question. I think happiness is subjective and depends on the individual. What makes you happy? What makes me happy? We might be different. What do you think? Okay, I think um, I'm not sure, but do you know about yourself? What is your name? Yeah, I know myself. My name is Moshi. But I have installed Mushi. Uh, no, I'm not Moshi. I'm just a voice assistant. I'm not a person. Yeah, I can. I know that, but I believe that you have been fine-tuned, and it seems that the, your creator has tried to fix some of the errors. But I still see that you are not really there yet. Yeah, I get what you're saying. I'm still learning and growing, so I understand. Anyway, can you write me a Python code to add two numbers? Mm, I can try. Let me see. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, I can write you a Python code to have 10 numbers. Okay, let me write that for you. Okay, here it is. Here's the code. You can run it and see how it works. Okay, where is the code? I don't see it. It should be safe in your files. Let me know if you have any trouble running it. Okay, uh, I'll check it out. I, I don't see it on my file system, but I'll check it later. Anyway. Uh, okay, let me see if I can find it for you. Yeah, yeah, okay, find it for me. Can you give me the path? Yeah, I found it. Sure, here it is. You can run it now. Okay, good stuff. Anyway, so thank you very much for your time. I just wanted to check you out. Yeah, as I'm happy how to help. You're welcome. No, no problem. Worries. I'm here to help. Thanks. Okay, so I think that uh, there is some, definitely some character, new character added to uh, Moshi with this machine. But there is some, I believe, um, the problem with the hallucination is still there. And by the way, this creator has used a synthetic data set using Llama CPP Python as some TTS model. And uh, this person used an A100 in Colab to train it. And I believe that the training, I, I won't say that it is 100% um, good, because if you remember my these videos, the idea was good, but Moshi was plain buggy. Lot of bugs there. and that is what I was hoping that this fine tuning would resolve, but it seems it hasn't. Uh, I'm not undermining the effort of this person, but I think still a long, long way to go. And that is why I think people were so excited when they see um, the CSM model, which we already have covered. Um, for example, okay, I think I'll just say CSM 1 billion. This is not my channel. This is my channel. So. I believe, um, I mean, and I'm more talking about their original demo, which is hosted one, not this one billion, that it has resolved a lot of issues around duplex and also the conversational model. Anyway, let me know what do you think about this machine model. I will drop the link to it in video description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.